Hey everyone, welcome back to this playlist on performance testing with Tricentis Neoload. Now we have got a brief idea about what is performance testing and what are the different types of performance testing and basically what is the process of uh, performing this particular test or using different automation tools which are available. And as I said earlier, uh, we are going to look at Tracentis New Load and how you can do performance testing with this particular tool. So the first step is to first set up this particular tool on your machine. And that's what we are going to do in this particular video. So I've opened up the URL where you can actually request the trial of uh, new load. OK, so you can go to this particular URL or you can search uh, for yourself to get a trial a demo of new load and you will be redirected to this particular website, uh, which is by Tracentis. And here basically we can request a new load trial. OK, so we just need to fill up a few details like uh, the business email, your first name, last name, country, phone, uh, company name and your role. OK, and once you click on this get trial, OK, so you will receive an email stating uh, what you need to do in order to set up this particular tool. OK, so I have already requested this and uh, as you can see, I have received two emails. OK. So you will receive two emails from Tracentis New Load. One is to get started with your free trial of Tracentis New Load. And the second email is to validate your account. OK, so to access the trial, we need to validate this account and uh, it will this link will expire in 24 hours. So make sure you do this before uh, 24 hours. OK, so let me click on validate account and uh, that will basically ask me to set up a new password okay for my account so let me set up a new password here okay and then uh, click on this accept and then click on activate account okay so that is basically going to uh, activate my Tracentis new load account okay and then i can access this new load SaaS account okay so this is basically a cloud version of the new load or the web version okay so which is called SaaS, which is software as a service so Tracentis new load can be accessed directly from the web uh, it is basically a service which is provided by Tracentis. okay so once you do that it will start uh, initializing your account once it is activated and you have the username and password. So it will initialize this particular account, okay? Also, uh, in the second email, you will find a couple of other details, right? So let me open this and here you will see that um, if your account is activated, go test drive your new load SaaS account. So it's the same thing which we have opened right now, okay? OK, so going back to the email, uh, we can run a sample test uh, with a pre-built sample application with new load. We can also see the dashboard with new load. Um, OK, or we can do a CI run. Uh, we can explore and analyze sample results. OK, so all of this is possible through the new load SaaS account. OK, also uh, we can also download and install the new load design tool. So this is the place where you can design your test cases, okay, for your performance testing. And then uh, we need to connect the new load designer to our SaaS trial account, okay. So uh, let's go ahead and download this particular new load design uh, tool, okay, and it will take you to the support hub uh, to that particular URL where you can download this particular new load, right? So let's go to the downloads and here we can see the Tricentis new load, the latest version, which is 2023.1. Okay. Um, and then I can come here and we can find the respective installer for your machine. Okay. So you can use any of these different uh, machines, which is available. Okay. And uh, I'm going to install this particular one, which is the Windows Windows one. 
so I'm going to download this okay so it will take some time let it download and let's come back here okay so we'll go and open the default workspace here and this is the dashboard okay so where you can see all your tests which are either running or uh, which has been set up okay so here is the test section so these are all the demo uh, tests which has been set up by Tracentis, uh, which you can go ahead and run them just for trial okay and then here we you will have all the resources okay so ips uh, reservations and zones okay so we'll talk about it later uh, here you can see the test results of your test runs okay and you can analyze uh, based on different parameters okay and there are also the logs that are available here and then we also have the dashboards here right so it will give you a nice dashboard of um, your results right uh, whether it is passed or failed um, based on different parameters like user load uh, all transactions error rates right so you can build all these graphs together and also you can analyze you can use this dashboard to analyze what was the actual issue right so you can dig deep uh, into the performance issues right um, and then uh, you can also see a trend chart okay so here uh, you can see how your transactions were going up or going down uh, based on this past or failed tests okay the request the throughput of the server the virtual user situations okay and then the search option so here you can search for all the different options so let's go ahead and look at one of the run me sample demo test here right and here you can see it's a sample test which has been set up by Tracentis for um, just to get a feel of new load right so if I go ahead and start this you will see that it will show me uh, some details about it like the project name scenario name uh, test duration okay the controller zone uh, and some other details and then um, I can go ahead and start this test okay I can change the result name and the description and I can go ahead and start the test here and then um, it will go ahead and uh, start preparing the controller and then the load generators okay and then sending the project preparing test and starting the test okay so the number of virtual users is 20 and the duration is five minutes but we'll learn all about the details um, i'm just showing you a sample run of how you can run a particular performance test in your new load SAS account okay but um, about all the other details we'll be talking about in the next coming up sessions okay so I will wait till uh, this uh, test is finished and also our download is going on so um, I'll wait till this is finished and then uh, we'll continue with this video so once the execution is finished uh, it will come here uh, into the test result section and here you can see um, all the different users which were generated the virtual users and uh, any errors which were encountered right so any particular values which were used uh, the events the sla okay and the complete logs okay so what it did so you can see here it is still running in running mode okay and uh, here you will see this graph will keep on changing right so that's how you can run your sample test um, on the SAS account which we have recently created um, and you can also monitor uh, what is happening with your performance test on this test result section now let's look at the second part as to how we can connect our design tool with this SAS account, right? So uh, it's already downloaded uh, in the background uh, and I can now go ahead and open this particular EXE to install the design tool, okay? Okay, as you can see, so the uh, wizard has opened now and it has started installing 
uh, the Neo Load Design Tool. Uh, it will take you through the rest of the setup process, so you don't have to worry about it. Just need to follow the instructions. Okay, click on yes. And then click on next, uh, click on agree. So here we have got three options. We have got uh, either we can do an installation for load generator agent. Uh, it will only install the agent for simulating your performance workload. Uh, you can also install it as a monitoring agent, but uh, we can also do it as a controller, which is the recommended option. Okay, so this will basically install the neural controller uh, with which has got both the generator agent and the monitoring agent. Okay, so go ahead and do this, and then we need to select the additional tasks we need to uh, set up to perform neo load. Okay, I will keep the real browser for now. And then uh, we'll stick with the default folder. Okay, uh, we'll create a shortcut and a start menu folder. And then uh, we are going to install the controller and the load generator services. Okay. And then click on next. So it's going to extract all the files and uh, the installation is pretty simple. Uh, and after that, we just need to connect this with our uh, new load SaaS account. Okay, so once uh, the setup is finished, you will get these two options to create a desktop icon and run new load and click on finish. So now it will launch the new load controller. Okay, uh, it might ask you for this firewall access. So let's give it allow access. Okay, so for now just ignore this particular warning and let's maximize the screen. So this is the new load controller. This is basically the design section of your performance testing tool. Okay, so where you can design your uh, user generators or you can design your tests. You can, so we'll, we'll look at all of these things, but this is the new load controller. Okay. So now let's see how we can configure this particular new load controller with our SAS account, right? So let's go back to our SAS account and here click on your profile. Okay. From the right hand side and here uh, we need to either generate a new access token or uh, we can also use the default one right so here uh, in the default access token you can go ahead and click on this configure new load with this particular token okay so click on this and um, it will basically ask you to start the new load controller and it will automatically configure your new load controller with your SAS account. Okay. So you can see uh, the connection was successful. So our new load controller is now connected to our SAS account. So whatever we design, we can then go ahead and run them in the SAS account. Okay. Uh, you can also go uh, into help and go into license management, and you will see that. Uh, the auto lease is currently enabled okay so this particular option is user server new load web is already selected and the auto lease option is also selected so just to verify that uh, the connection has worked properly you will get some license information here if it is not successful then you will see that there is no license for the new load controller okay so uh, if you are able to successfully do this, uh, both your new load controller and your new load SaaS account is now completely set up and you are ready to design and run your performance tests using the new load tool. So that was all for this particular video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, you learned something new today. If you want to continue learning the Tricentis new load, then I would ask you to subscribe to our channel so that you are notified about every new video we post on this particular tool 
which is for performance testing. So until we meet again, keep learning different automation tools on our platform and do let us know if you want to see any other video related to any specific automation tool.